it was the city coming together. And it's like, I mean, that's what it all started at. And that's what it always was intended to be. Rolling Stone called Bumbershoot the mother of all festivals. And for decades, it was a music lover's paradise, even if Labor Day weekend didn't feel that way for the people behind the scenes. It was a nightmare. It's like, you know, from basically Thursday, sometimes Wednesday through Monday, Tuesday. At the One Real Gallery, a new exhibit celebrates the good memories and good vibes Bumbershoot brought to the city. Many of the posters signed by the artists who performed on stage. Everybody's their first Bumbershoot is always like the best bumper shoot ever, right? In 1980, One Reel took over producing the fest, charging admission and bringing major artists from all over the world. In the 80s, it was all really good, actually. <laughs> but when the music industry changed and artists could only earn a living by touring, costs went up and a festival that was once free costs more than $100 a day. And it just got getting more and more expensive. Now another production company is taking over Bumbershoot, so One Reel can focus on its original mission, bringing the arts directly to people through programs like Pianos in the Park and Art Saves Me. And I'm so excited about what we're doing.